I am the man. This is the man vlogs wrestling edition. Hey guys, what is going on tonight? This is the Monday night vlogs, aka the man vlogs. So, I want to talk about Monday Night Raw. In my personal opinion about Raw, I, I was watching a video about somebody talking talking about why the Attitude Era should come back now. To me, that makes more sense because they had a rule called the 24-7 rule with the hardcore title back in, let's see, like, back in, like, 97, 98. Now, our truth still has that title, I think, of, of, of the 24-7 championship. To me, they should have more hardcore matches within the arena or or out or in the parking lot or somewhere else with outside, not inside. Because I re I remember that I watched E C E C W and it was Tommy Dreamer. Versus Raven, and they went at it at a strip club. I can remember that because I used to watch it all the time, ECW, and I loved it because it, like you had Tommy Dreamer, Raven, the Sandman, the Pit Bulls, uh, Bill and uh, Then you, then you had. Stevie Richards. Those guys were hardcore. But now, uh, Stephen Richards is now a yoga inst a yoga instructor. Uh, Raven, um, I don't know what, where he's doing, but I enjoy Raven and Tommy and Tommy Dreamer. In my personal opinion, bring, hold on, take those guys, which I said, and bring them back to the WWE on, on Raw or SmackDown. And even Rhino. Rhino is a long time alumni that worked for ECW and for the WWE. For a long time, since 2001. Because they had... The, they had the... Abasion Angle. With ECW. WCW. I guess who came out as the winner. Vince. So... They did a... a they did a... A... They did a brand split. Tommy Dreamer, Raw. Raven, Raw. Rhino, Smackdown. Sp uh, Spike Dudley, same, same thing. Raw, then he went to Smackdown. So, I say this. And, and also, bring back the former Divas. Shresh Stratus, Lita. Uh, let's see. Ivory. Uh, let's see, who else? S uh, s and, and even Sable. I don't know if you guys have this or not, and it's called LinkedIn. Um, guess who's on there? Ken Shamrock. And Ken Shamrock, and Ken Shamrock used to be a part of of the WWF Attitude Era. Every every wrestler is on LinkedIn. 
uh, even, even Triple H, Paul Vec is on LinkedIn. And even, I don't know if Ronda Rousey is, but I'm, I'm going to look and find out. But, in my opinion, bring back uh, Ronda Rousey. Um, that's my, and also, I don't want to show this on camera, but the man who runs the man vlogs has to take, who needs to take a sip of this. And the man is not Bucky Lynch. I'm the real man. And I have a message for Becky Lynch. Yo, Becky Lynch. I like your personality. And I like your 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 I, I keep I keep saying that, excuse me guys, I stutter too much. She's a good wrestler, let's put it that way. And tonight at the Grand Falls Civic Center, they have the WWE there tonight. I'm not going to that because I don't have um, a lot of money for that. So I'm staying here watching Monday Night Raw for, uh, for tonight. And... That's what I'm saying, like, like, I remember stuff. That's why they should bring back the, the other wrestlers that were in the Attitude Era. Even the Headbangers, Marsh and Thrasher. Bring those guys back. You know what? I, I know that DX, no, D, Jimmy Knicks were X-Pac. Shawn Michaels, China, New Age Outlaws, all right? Here's my way. Do a all-female version of DX and have a female version of, of the New Age Outlaws. That'd be, that'd be awesome. And... Uh, to me, everything I'm telling you m makes sense because that's what the WWE needs. If you want to get good views and good ratings, you have to bring back the Attitude Era again. And I found out that, that the All Elite, uh, let's see, a, eh, huh, I think it's like A-W-E or A-E-W or something like that, um, by Cody, by Cody Rhodes. I have a message from him too. If you want to have a war with the WWE, I will, I want you to invade the WWE, the Cody Rhodes, the the young bucks. Most of of these wrestlers on Cody on Cody Rhodes promotion, such as Gold Dust, he used to wrestle for the, for the company for Vince for a long time. I got a question for you guys: How many of you remember? I forgot the guy's name. I think he, he goes by, oh, I don't know, Adrian Neville. He used to wrestle for Vince, for, McMahon, for Vince. Now he's with Cody Rhodes group now. Do a, you know what, do a invasion angle for the, for the WWE to invade Cody Rhodes promotion. And, and to me, that would be lit. Think of, think of, 
think about this. Look at DX. China. Road Dog. Badass Billy Gunn. X Pac and Triple H. They invaded WCW in 96, 97. Or, or 98. I'm not quite sure. But the, the whole point is do that again. In, invade A W E. And I'm going to do a message to Triple H personally. You know why? Because I have his info. Alright. So, this is what I'm saying. Before I get done with the video, but the whole point of this video means hardcore stuff. Do more hardcore stuff. You know what? I have a better idea. Paul Heyman. He can redo the Monday Night Raw show as the new ECW now. Look at look at last week. Brun Strowman versus Bobby Lashley. I sat down. I got back from I got back from the store. I sat down. They're going at it. Next thing I know, Braun Strowman tackles um, Bobby, Bobby Lashley through the, through the entranceway. Total darkness. I think it was Lashley or Strowman who had a, a very, very bruised spleen. And I will bet you right now, if, if, I will bet you 30 more subscribers that the new stage set will be different tonight on Monday Night Raw. Keep on subscribing. I know you love my content. Favorite, like, share, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and also turn on your... And turn on your YouTube red button that says subscribe. Keep doing that. I am the man. You don't want to. You do not want to mess with the new man and the and the new man vlogs. So I can say this. To Becky Lynch. Say hello to the new man. Honey. And I have a, I, and I have a new way. Of sending you guys off. Bada boom bada boom. One guy. Known as the man. Doing the man vlogs. How you doing? Wolfpack. And you can't teach that.